Russia's aviation engine industry is currently reassessing its strategy due to technology goals, industry limitations, and the urgent need for engines produced within the country for new civil and military aircraft. Recent statements by leading engineers and aviation specialists provide insight into the progress of two of the nation's most anticipated initiatives, the high-thrust PD-35 and its more cost-effective counterpart, the PD-26. Although both engines remain important for Russia's long-term aerospace goals, their future depends heavily on the development of specific aircraft programs and the changing requirements of national carriers and manufacturers. The PD-35 originated as Russia's premier advanced high-thrust turbofan designed to compete with leading international engines in the 35-ton thrust category. The project was intended to support future long-range wide-body aircraft, including potential successors to the IL-96 and the Russia-China CR-929 initiatives. Over time, however, the PD-35 has encountered notable industrial and financial challenges. Although a full-scale demonstrator of the PD-35 is currently undergoing testing at facilities in the city of Perm, where engineers are validating basic technologies, it remains solely a demonstrator and is not yet a flight-ready engine. Achieving near-target thrust during laboratory tests confirms that Russia has mastered many advanced materials, turbine technologies, and compressor architectures required for such a high-performance engine. Engineers emphasize that overcoming these obstacles marks a significant milestone that proves the technical feasibility of the project. However, the path beyond this demonstration stage remains long and uncertain. Aviation specialists observe that achieving a certified serial production version of the PD-35 is far more demanding than developing its smaller relatives. The engine's sheer size requires more advanced materials, more complex cooling systems, and a larger manufacturing infrastructure than Russia currently maintains in serial production. Some experts even remark that creating an engine of this scale is more challenging than building a rocket due to the extreme tolerances and reliability needed for commercial aviation. Another major obstacle is the absence of a confirmed aircraft for the PD-35. Without a designated platform, the engine risks becoming a motor without an airplane. At present, there is no wide-body aircraft program in Russia that requires a 35-ton class engine, and discussions on reviving wide-body civil aircraft remain mostly conceptual. Without a defined customer and exact requirements, the PD-35 cannot advance into full development. Despite these issues, the PD-35 still benefits from political and industrial support, and its demonstrator remains a substantial technological achievement. It also provides a foundation for derivative engines, ensuring its research continues to hold value. Nevertheless, its progression toward mass production is likely to extend into the next decade or even further. While the PD-35 remains in an extended experimental phase, Russia is actively preparing for large-scale production of engines in the PD-14 family. The PD-14 is the primary engine for the MC-21 aircraft, which is viewed as the backbone of Russia's civil aviation revival. Establishing serial production of the PD-14 is a strategic priority, ensuring the MC-21 can operate without foreign engines. Alongside this, the smaller PD-8 engine is progressing through testing and certification. The PD-8 is designed for various applications, including variants of the Sukhoi Superjet, and is essential for replacing Western power plants restricted by sanctions. The successful development of the PD-8 and the PD-14 forms the industrial base that the larger PD-26 and PD-35 depend upon. Both larger engines use technologies and manufacturing processes derived from the PD-14 program, underscoring the importance of establishing reliable mass production for the smaller engines first. Over the past year, numerous experts and former officials have suggested that Russia may be shifting its focus from the costly and complex PD-35 to a more realistic alternative, the PD-26. 
This engine, producing about 26 tons of thrust, is considered more suitable for the next generation of Russian civil and transport aircraft. The PD-26 completed its preliminary design stage in September 2025. Its design is directly based on the gas generator from the PD-35, showing that the groundwork from the larger engine has been adapted to create a smaller and more manageable power plant. Unlike the PD-35, which lacks a confirmed aircraft application, the PD-26 has clearer potential uses. It could power larger versions of the MC-21, heavy transport aircraft, or future domestically built wide-body aircraft. Its capabilities fit more closely with Russia's current aviation plans, and its development timeline is expected to be noticeably shorter. However, aviation specialists warn that despite its more modest specifications, the PD-26 remains a virtual engine until an aircraft manufacturer issues a formal request with detailed performance requirements. In Russia's aviation sector, engines are not designed in isolation, but tailored to specific aircraft. Without an official order, the PD-26 cannot move into full engineering development and prototype assembly. This repeats the same issue faced by the PD-35 and reflects broader systemic challenges in the industry. Engine development and aircraft programs must be synchronized, fully funded, and well-managed. The absence of a new wide-body aircraft project currently limits progress for both engines. Although the PD-26 appears more realistic than the PD-35, experts remain cautious. The completion of the design phase is progress, but moving from concept to mass production typically requires five to seven years, even in ideal conditions. Without a confirmed aircraft program, the PD-26 may experience indefinite delays similar to the PD-35. The PD-35 faces even more skepticism. The technology required for its thrust class is significantly more advanced, leading to higher costs, and the industrial base needed to support it is still under development. Without an aircraft such as a modernized widebody or a new long-range transport, there is little justification to move the PD-35 beyond the demonstrator stage. Many industry specialists believe it may remain a research project rather than become a commercial engine. Supporters of the PD-35 argue that stopping the program would be unwise, stating that Russia must retain the capability to develop large engines to remain competitive globally and avoid falling behind international leaders. Even without serial production, the PD-35 serves as a research platform and a symbol of technological competence. Based on the current situation, two primary future paths appear likely for Russia's high-thrust engine programs. In the first scenario, the PD-26 becomes the main propulsion system for future Russian aircraft requiring medium to high thrust. It would move into full development once a customer, likely a major airline or a state aerospace manufacturer, defines the required specifications. Serial production could begin several years later, supporting heavy transport aircraft, extended MC-21 variants, or a new widebody design. In this scenario, the PD-35 remains a technology development program that continues to support advances in materials, compressors, and turbine design. In the second scenario, a new Russian widebody program revives the PD-35. If an updated IL-96 or a completely new long-range aircraft is approved, the PD-35 could proceed into full engineering and later production. This would require political support, substantial funding, and a clear strategic need. The PD-26 might then develop alongside it as a medium thrust solution. Both scenarios depend entirely on whether Russia establishes a long-term strategy for its wide-body aircraft sector. Until this clarity is achieved, engine development will continue cautiously. As of the year 2025, the PD-35 and PD-26 programs remain at a decisive stage. The PD-35 has shown strong technical performance but still lacks an aircraft and faces major developmental challenges. The PD-26 
offers a more practical and cost-effective path, but its future depends on receiving a formal request from an aircraft manufacturer. It is clear that Russia's aviation engine sector is seeking a balance between ambition and practicality, between technological advancement and industrial capability, and between long-term strategy and immediate requirements. Whether the future favors the large-scale PD-35, the more feasible PD-26, or a combination of both will depend on decisions yet to be made by government bodies, aerospace manufacturers, and national airlines. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.